So I'm down in Honde Valley today. It's been raining, so I can't drive down to the house. I have to walk down and leave my car um, up there. Whoa! It's been a while. It's been three years. Looks the same. Still looks beautiful. Still looks productive. And uh, yeah, check out the view. Welcome to this documentary on agriculture in Honde Valley. Tarazi Falls. So, this is a fish dam. There's like five of them. I think there's some bream in there. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how many weeks. There, how many... Uh, how much fish there is or how old they are. I haven't really asked. <clears throat> there's another one there. There's another one here. another one here and another one there so there's like five fish dams so um i'm not really sure how many uh what, what type of fish is in there i'm trying to do two things at the same time here hold on hey. lucky i got proper shoes on this time see <laughs> You can't buy cats and just wear them in the city. You gotta wear them out. Let's see now. <clears throat> Let's see in there. So the nets are to stop the birds of prey and the there's some otters as well. But an otter is gonna it's gonna jump in there easily. But uh, any bigger animals or anything that tries to jump in from the top is kind of stopped by the nets well that's the aim anyway so there's usually fresh water coming out of there but they've stopped it because obviously it's raining it's raining every day it's been raining all morning actually it's been raining all morning this is actually my first time today like taking a stroll so i is just going down the road uh, to my uncle's, to my younger uncle's place. Check out the view. Do you want to see my view? So guys, as you see, it's the season for maize. <clears throat> but I noticed a lot of families this year, they're not, well, the family that I'm linked with, that I know, the families I know, um, they're not really doing maize anymore. They said that it's just easier to buy a bucket of maize. Because the labor of maize, once you plant them, you have to put fertilizer on each one of them. 
you know, so you actually physically go one. It's not like Europe where they use machines. Here, you physically have to go one by one by one, you know, and then you see all this weed. You have to kind of dig it out using holes. Well, so now they use um, they use a spray, you know, to kind of kill the weeds in between. So, you know, but most people are not doing it anymore. So this one was actually put in after Christmas. And the only reason this was put in is because my gran is old. So she's old fashioned. She just believes every rainy season you have to put maize, ah, you know, maize, you know, because they grew up on maize, like, you know, so so my uncle just did this to please my 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 gran. Otherwise this is actually the only bit of maize out of like this whole area it's just all bananas now so the money you're making the bananas are making the money and then you buy the maize from the bananas so you don't need to grow maize if you're making money elsewhere after harvesting the maize it is dried and grinded into maize meal meal is used to make sadza, a staple in Africa, also known as ugali in Kenya, pap in South Africa, fufu in Nigeria. Tea is grown in the eastern highlands, further down the valley. Right, yes guys, hi, this is the uh, eastern highlands uh, plantations, we are at the um, uh, the plantations here. Unfortunately, we were unable to enter the factory because it's a private company So they wouldn't let us into the factory. So basically, but they let us through they were nice enough to give us a tour of the Of the factory. So basically I'll try and see uh, what I can remember of, uh, of what they told us. So basically these uh, They take the top part That's what they pick uh, And only machines. I thought it was hand is but actually they use machinery to pick these and then they're put into a conveyor belt which um, which uh, takes it in and then they're steamed and heated at the same time they're steamed and then they're heated uh, with hot air so that the, they lose the moisture. So, so these are for burning the tea during the process, the wood. So once the moisture is lost, that's when they're grinded uh, into a powder, they grind the leaves into a kind of fine powder well, not fine powder, but they grind it anyway into uh, pieces, into particles, and those particles are then fermented. They're put into put through a fermentation process, which then that's when they come out white. And then he was telling me the uh, sorry, that's when they come out brown, uh, just just your normal tea. So there's like three or four processes, and um, the finer they are, the finer they are, the better because they can sit in the tea bag better, and you can put less into the tea bag, and then also. I asked them, they do export 98% of their tea uh, is, uh, is exported and uh, they have about uh, 400 workers in the factory there. So it was nice. So anyway, this is the, this is the valley. Uh, so we're in uh, Honde Valley. Honde Valley is way up there where we're coming from. So we just drove down here. It's probably like maybe 30, 40 Ks from where we live up there. So you can keep going down the road, but we're not going to, we're just going to go back. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun day, good day out. And uh, yeah, we got to see a lot, even though we didn't get to film a lot. But but yeah, at least uh, we, had a, we had a good day out. <laughs> Say go, 
A job bless, job bless. Don't forget to like, share, and press the red subscribe button at the bottom to get more videos from me. Thank you very much.